all tweaks in today's video will be from the Packix repo. Packix repo has uh, gained much attention in the recent jailbreak development scene and it has grown pretty, pretty uh, significantly in the previous period, previous one, two years maybe. And comparing to the old one, which I showed in the previous video, Big Boss repo, as you can see, currently there are like 9,400 different um, tweaks and themes and other things. Parkix in much uh, shorter time has gained almost 2,500 different different packages. So I'm guessing in the next year, Packix will overthrow Big Boss. So let's begin. The first tweak, Adaptive Dark Mode. Free tweak, amazing tweak for Packix repo. I have used it, I have used it for two days now and I'm pretty much amazed with its functionality. So Adaptive Dark Mode enhances your dark mode, which means that you can set a threshold at whichever level you prefer. I put 30%. And immediately when the brightness of your phone goes below 30%, your dark mode is activated. So it works something like this. When I go to my brightness and you, you see this is dark mode. When I lower it below the threshold, immediately dark mode is set to on. When it increases, it will set to off. So this is pretty cool tweak, adaptive dark mode. The next one is any key trackpad. As you all know, when you press the space bar in iOS 13, you get to move this cursor uh, wherever you want, but only if you press the space bar. However, with any key trackpad, you do it here and you get the same functionality, which is pretty awesome. So you don't have to look for that space, uh, space key. Arch, as suggested but by one of my viewers, thank you very much. Arch is a free tweak which helps you to lock your certain applications like I did for Cydia, for example. So you want to open it and it asks for your uh, Face ID or Alt Store. And it also plays this uh, nice sound uh, which, you can, which you can change here. You can turn it off or on. So this is Arch. Browser default is another very useful tweak if you prefer using some other browsers apart, uh, aside from your Safari browser. So I've installed Google Chrome and you can select any browser you would like. Pretty much there, uh, all of them are covered here and you can even have a custom browser if you, if you prefer. So let me check. I'm going to check my email and I'm going to go from here. So let's click on anything. It opens it in your default browser, which in my case is Google Chrome. So it's kind of neat. Let me click on privacy policy again. It opens in uh, Google Chrome. So this is browser default. Next tweak is Cask 2. I, I'm pretty sure you know about this tweak. It gives you the option to have different animations once you scroll through the menus. As you can see, I have a glitch animation. So it goes crazy down here. However, you can change it to several different animations like flip, let's say, so you see how it, your, the animation is flipping, then you can have color, so it changes color once you scroll up and down. Uh, and I think the default one was uh, stretch or slide, not sure, yes, slide. So slide effect is by default. So this is another cool tweak for Packex Cask 2. Color Me Notifs is another cool tweak which changes the colors of your notifications, right? As you did not know already. So let's test again and you will see on the lock screen uh, when the, you see the notifications are, are in different colors depending on the color of your app. Also the widgets on this side are uh, in different colors. So this is kind of cool, Color Me Notifs. Complications is a paid tweak and it takes the form and takes the notifications from your Apple Watch and puts them on your lock screen. So it looks something like this. You can set them up, you can have the battery levels, you can have activity, you can have whatever you want. If you press and hold any of these, sorry, press and hold, you can also select different type of uh, apps or different notifications that you want to be shown here. You can select applications separately and you can uh, launch them from your lock screen. 
Cool CC is your cool control center, old tweak, but good tweak from the packets. So your notifications, uh, sorry, control center will look like this. So you can customize it and you can have it like, uh, I don't know, this rounded and uh, accented edges if you prefer stuff like this. So this is cool CC. Copy log is a paid tweak again, and I've shown already how it works on my iPad and I'm testing it on my phone and especially on big phones, it's very, very useful. So it enables you to have these snippets all over. I, when I press this, I can get the, all the copied stuff I had before. I can make them favorite. I can, you know, uh, hold to it, remove, put it to favorites. Then when you go to favorites, you can always invoke it back and it stays there as long as you, as you would like and you can paste it anywhere. So you can even have more things. Let me put this, I don't know, whatever. Select all, uh, copy, and it's copied to your uh, clipboard. When you go into it, you will have this snippet this is my favorite snippet this is another snippet let's let's remove it from favorites and then so you, you see you have multiple copied items drag spring is another cool tweak which helps you respring your device by just dragging up so you can see here when i want to do it it resprings so this is drag spring the next tweak is called dnd my recording or do not disturb while i'm taking the screen recording so when you invoke your control center you have here the toggle for the do not disturb correct and here i put the screen recording uh, toggle in the control control center so once i enable it and wants to fill my screen see automatically you get this notification that it's uh, uh, do not disturb is on in this case, which is kind of cool and helps you, uh, you know, not receiving any notifications or being, you know, uh, disturbed while you're doing your screen recording. Exact time is a tweak which shows you exact time of your notifications when you receive them. So you don't see that one minute ago, two minutes ago, five days ago. You get it exact time on your lock screen so you can always revert back to it. I kind of like it. Folded is a tweak which customizes your folders. As you can see, my folders show less icon, but once you go inside, they, it has a different layout. So I've enabled five times five uh, layout for my icons, and also visibility of the icons on the outside is different. Once you get into the settings of the folded tweak, uh, you can choose all sorts of uh, layout, you can choose uh, the layout inside, you can choose the type of frame you want to have, you can look lay uh, the icons, you can choose the appearance of it, so many, many different, uh, different customizations for the folded tweaks. Folded tweaks, sorry. The next tweak is iPadify, and it was asked uh, by one of my viewers to show it, so I'm gonna show it very briefly. It has two main options, two main uh, Abilities. The first one is the ability to sideload iPad applications like Photoshop or some other applications to your iPhone, which normally you couldn't do it. But you, now with iPadify, you can. It gives you this ability through iTunes. The second uh, thing, which I prefer, and that's why I installed it, is ability to show picture in picture on videos in Safari. I'm not talking about YouTube, I'm talking about Safari. And in Safari and some other browsers, if you play a video like I'm gonna play right here, you can have this picture in picture. So you can, you can close this and then you can play with it. You can, you know, move it on the screen and you can, you know, have it playing in the background while you, you know, do something else. So this is one of the very cool features that I was uh, looking for in the new iPhones. Let Me Decline is another old time favorite of mine and it is on the PacX repo again and it's called Let Me Decline. I'm not gonna uh, ask anybody to call me at this moment to show you, but this is pretty much what you get. So uh, do you know when you receive a call and your device is locked, you have that slide to answer um, uh, tab or however you wanna call it. Uh, instead, now you have these two buttons all the time when somebody gives you the call, regardless whether your phone is locked or not. 
So I prefer this one and you can easily decline the phone call uh, by this red button. You don't have to do it uh, uh, double, by double tapping the power button. So this is let me decline. Usually when you turn on your uh, do not disturb mode, you know you have that banner here uh, appearing. So with no DND banner, this is, this is history. So as you can see, I already have my do not disturb enabled, but there is nothing showing on my uh, home screen, which is kind of cool. The next one is called notes creation date. By the way, I, I create the list of the tweaks I'm going to show you. I usually do it in my, in my notes. And you know when you go outside of the notes of the previous folder, they are sorted usually in my case by the date of, uh, the date of editing, not the date of creation. But to be honest, sometimes I'm really curious when did I actually started creating this note. That's why we have the tweak notes creation date 13. When you pull it down, you get these two options, when it is created and when it is last modified. So this is pretty cool tweak and I'm gonna stick with it. The following tweak is called Pied Crust. So, uh, sorry, not Pied, Pie Crust. So Pie Crust gives you the option when you download any application from your uh, app store and you go to your home screen to show how it's gonna, you know, go with downloading you can see this that you here you have the percentage of the app that's being downloaded so you can set it up in settings to be within the icon below the icon etc so this is pretty cool tweak it's called pie crust now this is my favorite tweak of the day it's called speculum and it messes your uh, lock screen i'm just kidding it's not messing your lock screen actually it's making it much better so this is a free version which can give you many options to customize your clock your time your weather whatever you want to do so once you lock your device and you can see how it is set up here in my case so you can put it on the right hand side you can put the date you can put the uh, weather below it and it's very very subtle and very nice looking uh, option instead of simple lock screen tool or jellyfish or mod or whatnot. So this is my favorite for now and I'm gonna keep using it on the lock screen. It's called Speculum. The last week of the day is volume percent. So when you press it down or up on your, you see you get this percentage of volume, which is kind of neat. It goes inside, then you know, when it comes thinner, it goes outside. So again, this is on Packix repo. 